In the turbulent 1950s and 1960s, a courageous man emerged, ready to challenge the chains of injustice and lead a nation towards equality. Meet Martin Luther King Jr., a Baptist minister who would go on to inspire a generation and change history forever. It all began in 1955, when King led the triumphant boycott of the segregated bus system in Montgomery, Alabama. In 1957, he founded the Southern Christian Leadership Conference, uniting people in the nonviolent struggle against racism and discrimination. Fast forward to August 28, 1963, when history was made as 200,000 Americans of all races gathered at the Lincoln Memorial to hear King deliver his iconic speech during the massive March on Washington. The movement achieved a significant victory in 1964 with the passage of the Civil Rights Act, and King at that time became the youngest man ever to receive the Nobel Peace Prize. But tragedy struck on April 4, 1968, when an assassin's bullet ended the life of this towering symbol of liberty and justice. Today we honor the legacy of Martin Luther King, Jr., a man whose powerful personality and eloquent oratory brought hope, unity, and change to a nation. Let us continue the fight for justice, equality, and peace in his memory. We pay tribute to the indelible legacy of Martin Luther King, Jr., a pivotal figure in the American civil rights movement of the 1950s and 1960s. Nothing pains some people more than having to think. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of this creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal. If a man hasn't discovered something that he will die for, he isn't fit to live. Darkness cannot drive out darkness, only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate, only love can do that. I believe that unarmed truth and unconditional love will have the final word in reality. If a man is called to be a street sweeper, he should sweep streets even as Michelangelo painted, or Beethoven composed music or Shakespeare wrote poetry. He should sweep streets so well that all the hosts of heaven and earth will pause to say, here lived a great street sweeper who did his job well. We must combine the toughness of the serpent and the softness of the dove, a tough mind and a tender heart. Injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. When evil men plot, good men must plan. When evil men shout ugly words of hatred, good men must commit themselves to the glories of love. When we let freedom ring, when we let it ring from every village and every hamlet, from every state and every city, we will be able to speed up that day when all of God's children, black men and white men, Jews and Gentiles, Protestants and Catholics, will be able to join hands and sing in the words of that old Negro spiritual, free at last, free at last, thank God Almighty we are free at last.